There's someone in the in the nut. His balls are bigger than y'all. My boss. I love it when people sit on my face. Everyone, Thor and Smash here, and unless you've been completely oblivious, you might have noticed the giant green portal in the sky with Olympus coming through that's about to crash land into Broken Moon. And you might be wondering, does that mean Olympus is going away forever? And that is not the case, as it is an alternate version. We're gonna go over some of the lore, along with the brand new teaser that is actually coming in today, as we get closer to season 21 with Alter. And we're gonna go ahead and give out one of the Octane Prestige skins. All you guys gotta do is like, comment, subscribe, and you'll be entered for a chance to win when the Urban Assault Collection event launches next Tuesday. Without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So as some of you have noticed, there is a giant portal in the sky, which is a void rift, which has Olympus coming through. And it can be found on all maps. You can see right here, Storm Point, but it's also on Broken Moon, which is where it's gonna be most important. And also, in case you didn't notice, it is also on Olympus as well, which is a little confusing because, well, it's Olympus crashing into Olympus, and a lot of people are like, wait, I thought Olympus was getting removed and it's gonna crash into Broken Moon, which is true. It is crashing into Broken Moon. We know from the teaser right here, that Broken Moon is going to be the focus of this implosion. And there's actually a blue void in the middle of this, which isn't the green one, which is even more confusing. And we know it takes place once again, not only on Broken Moon for that image right there, but also because of the CRC, which is Clio, and it says Brace for Impact. And we know that season 21 is going to be getting the brand new Broken Moon map update and District is being pushed back to, I think, season 22, according to Oz and other leakers. Now, the reason that this is important is that this is not the Olympus that we are used to. This is an Olympus from a different reality. Some people seem confused on that. The notion that this Olympus is ours and Olympus is being removed from the game is not true at all. The biggest key takeaway from that is actually the fact that it is a green rift in the sky. In case you haven't noticed, the void when used in our universe, or at least the main Apex universe, is blue slash dark purple as seen by both Ash and by Wraith. The green one is most likely something to do with the next legend coming in, which is Alter, which has a Void Nexus ability, a Void Passage ability as well, and a gift from the Rift as you can see here. Also, their hair is green, you know, kind of fits with the whole portal thing. It makes a lot of sense. Although the tail is pink, a pink portal would be kind of cool, just putting that out there. And this is actually pretty important because this has a lot to tie in with Horizon coming into the Apex Legends with her story. Because Oz gave us some background on Alter. Apparently she is Chinese, so do not count on this being an alternate version of Wraith. That is not gonna happen. She's a trained killer since she was a kid. Her team of mercenaries betrayed her. Her parents are killed, turning her insane. And the important factor right here is that she can dimension travel and she is seeking Horizon to force her to help. And what's interesting is with that dimension travel, Horizon actually probably has something to do with the dimensional travel. We just actually got this comic the other day where Octane is handing Horizon the time gauntlet saying it was one of his dad's old relics and she deserves to have it. And what's even more important about that is the fact that the narrative lead for Apex Legends said in an interview with GameSpot right before season 20 came out that in the trailer where we see Horizon looking at the time gauntlet is going to be part of this season's overarching storyline. Now, obviously it's been about about two and a half months into the season, we haven't heard anything about it other than a little snippet. So this is all gearing up to Olympus being crashed into Broken Moon and Alter coming to give Horizon some dire consequences if she does not help out. There's also some really weird lore going on right now with Horizon actually creating the Time Gauntlet, which kind of contradicts Titanfall stuff. It's all really kind of confusing. It'll be interesting as we get more and more teasers, which is going to be today, by the way. The second teaser does release today, thanks to Hypermiss who let us know that, and the last one will actually release on Monday, April 22nd, the day before the collection event. And that should give us a ton of information, as we will also probably be getting these stories from the Outland on Monday as well, to give us even more information on Alter and her full backstory, which includes her being some kind of hacker, which, you know, kind of makes sense but it's a little ironic with all the issues that Apex Legends has been happening this season. Maybe Alter is just like a code for Destroyer 2009. That'd be hilarious. Speaking of which, it's important to know, the other day we got a brand new update on Tuesday and it caused some new glitches where people lost all their battle pass stuff. People are getting cosmetics from upcoming collection events. There was an update yesterday, but I'm really hoping that when season 21 does launch, a lot of this stuff is actually fixed. I'm a little worried about the launch of season 21 with all the problems that Apex has been having in the last couple of weeks. 
It'd be really, really crazy if this was all just a secret vendetta by Respawn to hype up the new character as she's hacking the games, but I highly, highly doubt it because I imagine they have lost a ton of money and EA is pretty upset. Not to mention EA has been letting off more of their Q&A team with Baton Rouge getting laid off with 200 employees last year and now the UK office getting 40 laid off as well. This season does seem like it's going to be pretty fun with the new character and it's going in a direction we really haven't seen Apex Legends go in a very long time. And I'm always down for more Horizon lore because I feel like we kind of forgot about it for a while and focused on Loba and Revenant, which I kind of stopped caring about. But overall, get ready for today's teaser. We're going to get more information and hopefully the new Broken Moon map makes some really great changes as it is going to be in the rotation for the entirety of next season with its brand new update. Let me know down below. What are your guys' thoughts on some of the teasers? Do you think Alter seems like a very cool mix up in the lore going on? Do you not really care that much and you just want the new season hopefully to come out with any bugs? And what are your impressions so far on just Apex Legends Season 20? Don't forget to check out the channel right here where I cover information on Helldivers 2 with new leaks and updates coming out regularly. And until next time, everyone, keep slaying in the Outlands.